Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install Reddit Enterprise Linux 10 version. Yes, absolutely free at no cost. Reddit gives developer full access to enterprise grade rel at zero cost. You get the exact same operating system used in the production environment, same binaries, same security patches, same kernel, no compromise. Using the official Reddit developer program, whether you are a system administrator, Linux beginner or IT student, this step by step will help you to get started with the rel 10 on VirtualBox. So our wonder why teams use rel developer edition instead of paid license for the development work. Let's break it down. Well, imagine building on AM app on the other Linux based OS only to discover it breaks on your company production rel servers. With developer edition, your code and test on the real things. That means no surprise at the at the time of deployment. You, you also skip the license headache. Developer edition is fully compliant for the non-production use. No more worrying about the expired trial or license audits. Just register your system with a Reddit developer program and you covered. Just remember, this is for the development, testing and learning only. When you are ready for production, that's when paid license kicks in for support and compliance. Let's start it. First, go to the Reddit developer portal https developers.reddit.com and create a free reddit developer account click join or register use your personal email id and choose the developer subscription individually so once logged in head to the reddit rel 10 download page or click on the download rel at no cost for boot iso or download x8664 dvd iso this is full installer for your virtual machine or physical machine so now open your virtual box and create a new virtual machine if you haven't installed virtual box yet you can download it from your official website and install it based on your operating system for ubuntu users click the notification icon on the top right to watch our separate video on how to install the virtual box on ubuntu once virtual box is installed launch it and click on the new button give your virtual machine name a name select the iso file and choose the Red Hat 64 as OS type and allocate at least 2 GB RAM and 20 GB of hard disk. So finally attach the RHEL 10 boot ISO to the virtual CD drive to the boot from it. After the boot VM, select the installed Red Hat Enterprise Linux 10, choose your language and configure your disk, enable the network and select the software packages like server with GUI or you can select the minimal or server so enable root and set the root account password and create a user during the installation you will see a section title connect to the red hat so this step allow your system to register with the red hat and access software repository and updates click on the connect and you will be prompted to enter your red hat developer account credential if you don't have an account yet so go to the developer.reddit.com and sign up for a free developer subscription it only takes a minute once logged in the installer will automatically attach your system to red hat software repository after a successful connection you will see a confirmation message then you can proceed with the rest of the installation begin the installation after installation reboot the system and complete the initial setup if you'd like to learn how to manually create a custom disk partitioning during the installation just let us know in the comment below we will create a separate detailed video covering partitioning step by step for the better control and understanding once installed logged in and you will see the new rel 10 terminal or desktop you can now explore packages test automation and connect to the red cloud you may also register with the subscription manager for software. so that's it on this you have you will be successfully installed rel 10 for free if you found this tutorial helpful give it to a thumbs up comment below if you have a question and subscribe for more linux and devops content thank you